This your home girl, Arabia Barbosa, number four, which is kind of New York. Do another video real quick. Another video real quick. 914, which is the county of New York, we are in the motherfucking house. We are here. What is that? A do rag, right? New York niggas and some of us women wear do rags. It is what it is. 914, which is the county of New York, we are in the motherfucking house. Will T, I see you in different chats. Ronald Jones, I see you in different chats. Ronald Jones, you live in the same part of South Carolina I live. Since you got so much to say, say it to my face, nigga. Say it to my motherfucking face. You know my address? Knock on the apartment door. And see what you get. And I mean that. I mean that. All this mighty, all this well. There are 16 shades of the universal sun. I come as I am, I am as I come. Anybody that got a problem with New York niggas. Got a problem with me. Period. Period. And I'm Cape Verdean American, too. My mother is the only Geechee in this fucking family. My biological mother is the only Geechee. And I don't respect the Geechee nation. I don't respect the Geechee. I don't respect the Gula. I don't give a fuck about those niggas. You can all suck a bag of dicks for all I care. Because I do not care about none of you. When I first came back in this sector of South Carolina, one of my homegirls, she was telling me, she said, they don't like us because we are from New York. Why they don't like New Yorkers? Brown skin lady, I heard you say the same thing the other night in one of your videos, how you dislike New York niggas. I live in South Carolina. Everybody got my address, got my phone number. Anybody got a problem with me can call me anytime. I'm available 24-7, whether I'm working or not. Whether I'm sleeping or not. Now, in my, my voice, my lower, this is your lower, this is your sixth dimension. The seventh dimension is right here, right between your eyes. Let me tell you something. A dude by John Moses Reagan, he came out a couple of years ago, 2011. He killed off my two biggest supporters. He did that. So I'm going to I'm going to protect my supporters. I'm going to protect my name, my brand. Do rag. I wear do rags. I wear sunglasses. I wear reading glasses. I do crochet. I know how to sew. I know how to do construction work, electrical, for real. I'm a basic electrical wire. I know how to put in the pipes. I know how to bend them. I know how to read blueprints. A lot of you motherfuckers don't know how to do shit. You call yourselves professionals. One of them is saying she's a social worker. Brown skin lady, I don't got nothing against you. Have nothing against you. I thought 
you and my aunt would alleviate my feelings about social workers. Ain't left yet. My aunt, she getting ready to retire. Brown skin lady, you are still involved with social work, right? You're involved with social work. That's how Birdman put it to me. Birdman said, oh, she's supposed to be helping people on YouTube. Her YouTube personality and her, her professional life is different. Two different worlds. Just like I say, when I left from prison, it's two different worlds I live in now. I still use the same tactics that they used against me in fucking prison. Ronald Jones, I'm, I'm daring you. I'm daring you to approach me physically on these goddamn streets of Charleston, South Carolina. I live in North Charleston, motherfucker. You know my address. You know my phone number. You know my email address. You know how I am on Instagram. I don't hide. Never hid and never will. Sis over there doing his little video right now. I don't got no problem with sis. Me and sis had our back and forth. We had our misunderstanding. But at the end of the day, if I needed anything for my channel, sis came in. Nation reacts, facts or feelings. A lot of people don't like him. I don't care about your likes or your dislikes. Respect. Respect is due to anyone, even a dog. If you go out here right now at this goddamn door and you see an animal in trouble or a person in trouble, you address the problem. I went out there not too long ago trying to go to the store. I saw one of the older mommies in the community and I questioned her while she was sitting outside. She got her own house and I believe she's living in the same house of the dude that killed a woman in North Charleston four, four years ago. I remember that because it was on my feed for news. I called one of my homeboys, Day Day. Shout out to Day Day. Shout out to Brooklyn, New York. Shout out to Baltimore. Shout out to Connecticut. And I, I asked Day Day, I said, Day Day, you remember this dude? And they just said, yeah. He said, what happened? I said, this dude killed a woman in North Charleston. And that's the same house that woman lives in. I don't know if that's one of his relatives. I don't know if that's one of his closest friends, someone that believe in him. But for her to come outside and sit in the hot sun, I went to that goddamn store. I bought the water. My water is still in the refrigerator, freezing. So when I see her, I'm going to give her what I want to give her. She gave me good advice. She helped me out every now and then. Just for her saying hello. Because I lived in this neighborhood for almost a whole fucking year. She used to pass that woman all the time. Never would speak to her. That's how much I distrust people. It was one day I spoke to her. I came from the store. Came from the store. Handed her what I wanted her to have from me. Only did it because she's a woman. She's a mommy. So it is what it is. I'm not cold hearted. I am the BT-1000, yes. The BT-1000 is most dangerous. We ain't got too many BT-1000s on this app, on this sector, but we got a lot of alpha females. And I'm not going to name the alpha females off. I don't have to. You know who you are. If I look at you, if I respect you, whether I'm with you or not today, 
it doesn't matter the do rag. My motherfuckers say they hate New York. What is your real issue? It's not New Yorkers. It's something else. Deeper. Peace out, New York love. Wilty, you will be vanquished. You will be vanquished. If I see a video you do about me and I'm not on that panel, Wilty, I'm coming for you. Now, let your people know about that, Will T. All this money, all this well, don't fuck with me. I'm the last bitch on this app you want to fuck with. Peace, New York love. Shout out, shout out to my chat and shout out to my subscribers and shout out to my YouTube creators. Shout out to all of you. Because Arabia Barbosa is in the motherfucking house. And I'm going to speak up. When motherfuckers go against me, I'm going to speak up. I don't give a fuck who don't like it. Suck a bag of dicks. But in the meantime, leave me and my people the fuck alone. Will T, if you can't fight this war, shut the fuck up. Ronald Jones, if you can't fight this war, shut the fuck up. Peace, New York love, one.